Mike McIntyre has been covering crime in Manitoba for 20 years, and he's compiled some of his most memorable stories in his latest book, Mike on Crime, True Tales of Law and Disorder. Before we even talk about the book, congratulations, because I know you had a huge turnout at the launch the other night, and it's already on bestsellers lists before it even hit the shelves, so that must feel pretty exciting for you. It is, for sure, and you know, I have to thank the public. Uh, you always get a sense that people are really interested in crime and justice stories. They always seem to be among the most well-read, and these were certainly all stories that I think struck a note with uh, Winnipeggers and Manitobans, and uh, um, you know, it's really heartening to see. Obviously, the subject matter is not the most uh, uh, cheerful, but I think in a lot of these cases, you know, I've provided updates on what's happened to some of the accused and, and the families, and uh, that's something I think people often are very interested in. And so how did you pick? I mean, two decades, you've obviously seen a lot, you've covered a lot. How do you pick the 16 stories that make it into this book? It was tough to narrow them down. I probably could have done two or three of these mm -hmm. books. Uh, I started with a much bigger list. Um, it was sort of a very emotional process to go back over almost 20 years worth of bylines. I mean, we're talking thousands of stories. Uh, many of which I must admit you sort of forget about. Uh, so this was sort of a trip down memory lane and um, you know in a lot of these stories uh, just reading a few words would take me back to the courtroom or the interview, remember certain things. Um, but yeah, it was very tough to narrow down. I mean I tried to do a real cross-section of some very serious crimes, a little on the lighter side, just so it wasn't all one theme. Uh, but certainly there have been many more than 16 memorable cases over the years, uh, and maybe there'll be a sequel. So you talked about, you know, taking that trip down memory, memory lane, and I want to know, you know, um, at the end of the day, you probably, you know, put those stories in the back of your head. What's it like to, you know, prepare to do the research for this book? Some of the stories are, are really sad and tragic. Yeah. So. Well, and a lot of these are cases where I've actually kept in close contact with some of the family members. At our launch the other night, for instance, uh, the mother of Beeper Spence was there, and I hadn't seen her in a number of years. She spoke, the family of uh, T.J. Weeb, which is the final chapter. Uh, they're people I've kept in touch with as well. So, I mean, beneath all of this and beneath these tragedies sometimes are some real friendships, and, and that's part, people often say, you know, doesn't it get depressing covering all this uh, bad news? Um, when you meet people like the Weebs, like the Spence family, uh, and many others, you can't help but be inspired by how they've sort of endured over the years when society has given them sort of the worst it has to offer. Uh, so, I mean, that's sort of the uplifting part that I tried to focus on as well. And on, on our, our car ride here, my cameraman Rudy and I, I asked him, I was like, I wonder if Mike McIntyre, anything surprises him anymore? Because I follow you on Twitter and <laughs> I have to stop and scroll back because some of the things that, the details you hear and the things you see are so shocking and make you just whoa. So does anything <laughs> surprise you anymore? You know, I get to the point where I think, okay, I've pretty much seen it all. And then like a few weeks ago, a woman yeah. goes into labor right outside my office <laughs> here in the courthouse. That was a first um, and something I won't, uh, I won't forget. But yeah, I mean, you know, you, I guess every day, and that's part of the challenge and, and the fun part of coming to work down here every day. And for members of the public who've never been to the courthouse, it is a fascinating place to spend your days. You know, you can walk into any given courtroom and just see all kinds of things you've never seen before, meet all kinds of interesting characters. So yeah, I've sort of learned that, you know, never say never. And, and it honestly is true. Fact is stranger than fiction. And that has played itself out many, many times over the years. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Mike. And if you want to pick up his book, you can find more information on our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Thank you.